I'm here today because my ex-girl believes that I was sleeping with a really close friend and I'd done nothing but help this girl. I brought her into my home. We got close after that, we got real close. And I was actually in a relationship before and I was just getting out of it. She wanted to be with me, but I wasn't ready. She fought so hard to get what she wanted and we rushed into something we weren't ready for. We were only together for three months and then you claim that I'm sleeping with my best friend. That's nuts to me. But it was never anything sexual at all. I'm not gay. I love women. I've never been gay ever in my life. Like, come on now, look at me. <laughs> but these accusations of me being gay is crazy, bro. And she's the actual one that actually slept with my best friend. The one that she claimed that I was sleeping with. What type of sense does that make? All I do is work and come home to you. How can I cheat and you stay in my house? She didn't even give us a chance to grow. She didn't give us a chance to build. She expected me to be the perfect guy for her right off the back and for me to just drop everything I'm doing and give her all my attention. It's like, that doesn't make sense. Any female would love to have me. I, I don't have any problem with women. That's how I don't understand why she thinks I'm gay. After you slept with my best friend, I brought you back into my home and tried to work things out. You can't tell me that's not love. I, it's obviously, I love you. I just want to clear my name first and foremost because I've, I've never been gay, never touched a dude in my life. Like. Come on now. And I want her to see that she ruined our relationship over an accusation that was false. And everybody needs that one female that's gonna stand by their side and hold them up no matter what and have their back no matter what. And she is that. That's why I love her to death. Well, first of all, <clears throat> me ruining our relationship with accusations. Well, first of all, first of all, me forcing him into a relationship is impossible. Me and him were, okay, I was in love with him. Yes, I was. We were having sexual intercourse. He knew I was in love with him. He was also telling me he was in love with me back, though. You feel what I'm saying? He was saying he was in love with me. He wanted to be with me. But then he would say he wasn't ready. But I was already in my feelings. But at the end of the day, I cannot control what he did. He still chose to mess with me in any way that he wanted to. So I did not force us in a relationship. And um, as far as our, my accusations ruining our relationship, there's numerous reasons of why I thought he was gay, um, including his relationships with his homeboys, with his friends. Um, I, he was sleeping in the same bed with, with the guy who I thought that he was being gay with. They were sleeping in the same room. He would kick me out the room so that they, he would have friends over. That's what would happen. And I, I chose to sleep on the couch when I started living and with him. And him and another guy would sleep in the bed. There was, and he would put me out the room. He would kick me out. Why would you allow that? Because me and him were in a relationship at the time. We were just friends. When you decide to end a relationship, didn't you say, what was the whole deal with you sleeping with guys in the bedroom? Yeah. And what did he say? Um, he can't explain it. He never will be able to explain it. My question is, if you guys are broken up, what difference does it make if he's gay or not? The difference is we're still in love with each other. We love each other. He loved me. I love him. When's the last time you were intimate with him? Like. Last night. No. <laughs> um, like two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. So that that's the concern is that. We can't you, stop. We can't leave each other alone. So right. it has to. That's the only thing keeping us from being together. But if he's together. willing to have sex with you, what makes you think he wants to sleep with men? Like I said, he was too close up on his homeboys. Um, the whole sleeping with men thing is a bit odd. I never literally said that I thought that he was sleeping with the man, No, but if even sleeping in bed with another man is odd. Thank you. Okay. I just want him to be more committed How to How did me. you meet him? Um, I was actually walking up the street, and him and another relative were at a bar. His relative actually approached me first, trying to talk to me. And um, he put me in a car with McKean so that he could go in a bar and finish his whatever he was doing. But me and McKean instantly started it vibing it. Yeah, we were vibing. But then you slept with one of his best friends. Yep, the same dude who I thought that he was gay with. Why did you sleep with him? Um, McCain left, and he was giving me all the attention in the world. Like, he was there for me. We talked about everything, played basketball together, video, and stuff me and my boyfriend never did. So I was like... Why don't you stay with that guy? He ain't had nowhere to go himself. So, yeah. Everybody yeah, has and to... I never meant for it to happen. Like, that's the honest-to-God part. And like They never do. Yeah. It was an accident. It definitely was. Come on, bro. bro. Are you serious, dog? Out of all we've been through, out of all the pain you put me through, out of all the stuff I did for you, bro, are you serious, bro? These accusations, you calling me gay, bro? She was jealous. No, shut up, bro. I'm talking. She was jealous of me because we was all close. 
We was Thank all cooked. Shut up, bro. Be quiet. I'm talking. We was in a relationship. Listen, we was in this house, bro. We was all close friends. I was there first. Quiet, I was there first. I was there talking? first. I was there first. His homeboy came. Then his other homeboy came, and I felt like he came because he wanted to just be up there for what? First off. First off, be there for what? First off, my friend. Be there for what? Be there for what? Be there for what? Be there for what? First off, he was letting his sleep in a bed with us. You saw him was laying, bro. When we got in a relationship, when we got in a relationship. Wait, wait, can I explain myself, dog? A couple things, though. A couple things. One, let's not use vulgar words, okay? And then the second thing is, do you always call her bro? All day. I call everybody bro. That's just my word. My word is bro. I say bro all the time. I say bro, bro. I'm gonna say bro until I die. But I call everybody bro. It's like, like, it's like serious, like, and I never been gay, bro. Them. She Basically. knew me before I was with her. I had multiple women over my career every day. What what mean? Everybody what did. We had parties. I was turned up. I was close. My my friend, my best friend, bro. He had none. This is the only reason we was close, bro. And she was jealous of that because I wasn't giving her all the attention. We had just got into a relationship. She expected everything to be perfect off he the didn't bat. Do anything. What the problem was? He didn't do anything. What the problem came anything. with? Where the problem came was my friends thought that they was losing me, and they everybody got jealous. The house was arguing. Everybody was fighting because. Me and, me and Darion was in a relationship, and they, they, they be quiet, bro. Them. And they also what wanted her. His be leg. quiet, bro. They, I had no what knowledge of that. To, how I, you didn't know his leg was on your leg? leg. That, that's a lie. I mean, that that's never not happened. A lie. I, was, I, I have no knowledge can I, of that, Can bro. I ask you, why are you here? I'm here because I love this girl, bro. And after, <laughs> listen, after she, bro, after she, after she slept with my best friend, I brought her to my crib, bro. I tried to work these out with you, dog. That's not love, bro. That's not love, Darion. That's not love, Darion. You still think I'm gay, bro? So, Are you serious? I'm here and I think you gay. That's not love. What are you talking about? You're 18 years old. Yes. Okay. And you see how volatile it is here on stage. Why do either one of you want to be in this relationship? And me and Darion started messing around. I was in a, a whole relationship that was, it was in and it was bad. She knew this. Right. She knew this, though. Why you had sex with me? Be quiet, you bro. You her too, then. Shut Bro, was she on her end? The relationship was in the first time. But you so was we having were not, sex with me, though. We were, but you were having sex with me, though. But you were having sex with me. And, and who did I end up with? He for me who not to be with, my bro. feelings and want to be with him. But he did end up with you. Her. Exactly. Exactly. That's the whole thing. Exactly. I ended up with you because that's the person I fell in love with. No, he was already like, with her. She, I was with her every day. Have I, you ever, since when you were, other than when you were finally done with the other girl, have you ever cheated on her? No, never. And you never cheated on her? Never, bro. I never did her. I never did nothing wrong her. And as long as he's not gay, you want to be with him. And as long as, is there any conditions on her? Bro, she cheated on me with my. I know, my but you took her back. And I took her back into my crib. Right. So I'm saying I tried today. To help her out. Today, like if she fails her life. I want to work it out with her, but she needs help. <laughs> oh, I'm crazy. She needs help. Okay. In the house, man. Bro. Bro came here to take a lie detector test. And we asked, bro, besides that one male, while in a relationship with Bikin, did you have sexual physical contact with any other males? She answered no. We asked Darion, besides that one male, while in a relationship with Bikin, did you have sexual intercourse with any other males? She answered no. The results came back the same to each question, and it came back that Darion told the truth. McKean took a lie detector test. We gave you two, one for females, one for males. I'm going to read the females first. Um, while in a relationship with uh, Darion, did you have sexual physical contact with any other females? You answered no. While in a relationship with Darion, did you have sexual intercourse with any other females? You answered no. The results came back the same to each of those questions, and it came back that you did not tell the truth. No, no, come on, now. Nah. Let's, let's read the one about men. Because this is the big one. Y'all see that? Bro, I swear on everything. McKean, I love I was not lying, McKean, bro. McKean, we asked you, <laughs> while in a relationship crazy, with bro. Darion, did you have any sexual physical contact with any men? He I'm answered no. You, while in I'm a relationship with Darion, did you have sexual I'm intercourse gay, with any men? He answered no. The results came back the same for each question that came back that McKean told the truth. I'm done, bro. I'm out of here.
I can't be with this girl. Bye. <laughs> this it. We done. Unless you have something you want to say. That attitude right there, bro. See, nonchalant. That's the same thing I'm talking about, bro. Look at her. But you, she don't care. But you cheated. She do not get this. I was going to apologize when he did all that. I was going to apologize. I was going to apologize. He just did all that. What's your feelings about him sleeping with women? Cheating on you. I don't as long as he ain't gay. So do you still want to be with her? Yes, I would want to be with her, bro. I will freaking marry you, bro. Do you understand no, that? No, no, no. Do you understand I will marry you, dude? No, no. Yes. Do you no. understand that, bro? I love you to death. I will never hurt you like that, bro. She hates me. I never what's, got mad about what's, that. What's going to happen like, she, they, when dude, you guys go home? We have to stop arguing, bro. We have to stop arguing. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of people, when you're in a crazy relationship, you can get kind of like a, a love high off of it, right? It's 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 great, it's 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 fantastic, but the crazy relationship can only last for so long before you say, "I, I got to get off." Like that that crazy train of love will only stay on the rails for so long. We don't so want long. it to be, we want it to be normal. We're, we're dysfunctional, we argue, then we like, we go back. Like how y'all just seeing us argue and then hug each other, like that's right. every day. But the, that, him being gay and him thinking I was cheating on him was more over that. I think we could work on it more that I know that he's not ever slept with a man that was killing me in the back of my head. Yeah. Man, it's, it's crazy, this girl put me through, man, I'm still, I came all the way out here for you, bro. I well, swear. Thank you. I came all the way out here. All thank I want to say is and good luck. Y'all laughing at this bro stuff, but yeah, I love yeah. you, bro. I, I love you too. Thanks for really? coming out, bros. Thank you. <laughs> I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's going to watch this and say, you know what? She was brave enough to do that. I can do that too. Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilkos.com to get my help.